Today I want to tell you a story, a story that signifies the end of an era, a story of friendship. But before we get to that, Michaela needs a bicycle tube. I don't have the right socket, so what should be a 10 minute job is now going to be an hour job. Well, that was a miserable fail. You can't do any admin on a Sunday in Cape Town because all the shops are closed and I didn't have a spanner. So back to the original story now. And the day has finally come for me to say goodbye to a 15 year old friend, which is my lovely Opal Corsa. We've been through so much together, it'll be a shame not to do this video. And in the second week that I had the car, it was brand new out the box, I was showing off to my mates, and one evening I did a handbrake turn, and I just missed a wall by, by like this much, or just nicked the wall, and there's a tiny little mark on the car. That was like my first accident. And when I got the car, my dad gave me the option of either getting a radio or aircon. And as every 18 year old does, I chose the radio. Very bad decision. And these, these here weren't the only wheels I ever had on the car. Uh, within six months, I'd saved up enough money to put these lovely 17 inch mags on, in which then I had an accident and then I put 18s on. Probably a really bad decision, but it looked really cool. And then, of course, like every 18 year old does, I had to put some decent sound in the car. You can see here's the old power cable to one of the amplifiers and even some holes where I had my two amps in. And then of course, as any 20 year old, the customization didn't stop there. I had to spray paint these black. Me and my mates sanded them down. I was really trying to look the badass part here. These are originally red on any Corsa. And the customization didn't stop there. I, where the fog lights are meant to be, I actually cut these out with a saw and had these silver grills. I was really going for that badass look. And the speakers that I wanted didn't fit in the car, so I had to custom mount these tweeters and these, and these mid-ranges over here for that extra sound. And I also put her driving to the test on more than one occasion. There was this one night where we were at a house party getting really drunk and these guys had a problem with us and then I had to do some getaway driving and I outran an Audi A3 and hid in a little car wash down the road and they cruised straight past. But I had to do some heavy off-roading and she was up to the task like a beauty. And like any great friendship, there's of course those low times also. I think it was in the sixth year of our lovely friendship, there was a really bad accident. This, this lady jumped the stop street and I tried to swerve around her and I hit the back of her car, her big 4x4, and spun into oncoming traffic. It was a really bad accident. You can see here that the but the panels are still not correctly aligned due to the repair job. This whole side of the car was completely destroyed and they were about to write her off. It was very sad. And I went completely face first into the airbag. And once there's this tiny little ding on my rear view mirror over here, 
in which I, when I was reversing out of my one ex-girlfriend's house and we were having a fight, I accidentally reversed into the wall. I'm reminded by that every day. Throughout the years, I've really fought the urge to buy a car. I think it's one of the, the worst purchases a young person can make if you have a reliable one already. There's no reason to upgrade. After 15 years and a, a very long run, I finally decided it is time for myself. Mikhail and myself have outgrown this car. It can no longer deliver on the needs that we have of it. For example, I picked up surfing heavily and I still can't fit my surfboard in the car. That is a problem. Saying goodbye is bittersweet. I'm very sad to see her go to another owner, but I'm very thankful for the times we've shared and that she's taken care of me for this long. I hope you enjoyed that story. It was lovely for me to go down memory lane. But now back to our regular Sunday viewing. Going paragliding. Oh, a bit of a signal hill meander now. Lovely time of day to to go meandering.